today we will be discussing the cosine rule by watching this video you will be knowing when to apply this rule and how to apply this rule so let's move on to the questions question 1 find the angle theta now to find the missing angle maybe the first thing that will come to your mind is can I use socket over now I would say first thing to use socket over the sine cos and tan functions check whether it's a right angle triangle no it is not so being not a right angle triangle you cannot use socket over the next question can I use the sine rule now to use the sine rule to find this angle, though you have all the three sides, you should have either this one or this angle given to you. So you don't have both these angles given, so you cannot apply the sine rule. Because the sine rule says, say, sine theta over the opposite side is 15 here, equals again sine of another angle that you need. So here you don't have these two angles, so you cannot complete this ratio. So the sine rule is again not possible. This is the case where we go for the cosine rule, which is given by cos A is equal to B square plus C square minus A square over 2VC. Once you have the formula, the next challenge is to decide what is your B, C, A and the capital A. So to identify the parameter is the next challenge. I would make it simpler for you by you can take A as the missing angle theta here. So I'll just mark A here because you're talking about theta, the missing angle, which is going to be taken as A. So cos theta is equal to I'll start with B and C the two arms of the angle, can you see the one in blue? So this is going to be your B and C. You have the missing angle in the middle that is sandwiched between B and C. Uh, it's not a problem whether you take this is C and this is B or you can take the reverse, that's fine. Now the side opposite to the missing angle is taken as a, the red line here. So this is going to be your side A. Now since you have a clarity of what is B, C and A, you can just substitute the values into the equation. So B square, I'll say 7 square plus 10 square minus the side, the red side, which is 15 square over, you have 2 times BC, BC are the blue lines, which is the arms of the missing angle, 7 times 10. So I hope now it's easier. So you have cos theta equals 49 plus 100 minus 225 over 140. You can use your calculator to find the value for cos theta, which is given as negative 0.54285 from your calculator and you can find theta by taking the cos inverse of your answer which is going to be 122.878 so this is from your calculator Give your answer to 3SF, which is theta equal to 123 degrees. This answer is to three significant figures. So a quick summary. When to use the cosine rule to identify the B and C, which is the arms of the angle that you're going to find. And A will be the side opposite to the missing angle. And we use the cosine rule to find the missing angle when all three sides are given. Now we'll see an example where we use the cosine rule to find a missing length. Moving on to question 2. Question 2. You have part A and part B. 
Work out the length of WY. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Now we can see WY is a line that is a part of both these triangles. You have WXY and WZY. So from which triangle can you start? To start with WXY, you can see this is not a right angle triangle. So you cannot apply any Pythagoras theorem or any sine, cosine functions. So we have to come back to this triangle, which is WZY, where you can see the arms, okay, the blue lines, as we referred in the previous question. And at the same time, you can see WY as the longest side. So starting with labeling, I'll put this as B and C and WY is going to be my A. This will be considered as the angle A in my formula. You can use the same previous formula and you can later rearrange and find the side WY which is A. Or you can use a form of the cosine rule which is a square equals b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a. So here a is wy. Now before we start let me take a minute to those students who are comfortable using this formula. Now cross multiplying first it's going to be 2bc cos a giving you b square plus c square minus a square so if you just shift making a square the subject so i'll just shift a square to this side and take this term to the other i will get a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a so this is the same formula that i have written here it's the same thing so starting with a square, so my a is wy square equals uh, 8.5 square plus my c is 10 square minus. So whenever you have this minus, open a bracket and write this part inside the bracket two times, 8.5 times, 10 times, cos of the angle a, which is 95 degree and then you close the bracket so when you use the calculator you can just put this whole sentence or type all this value in a single sentence as a single sentence in your calculator so you get the value for wy square is equal to 187.066 and you have to take wy is going to be the square root of 187.066 uh, which is giving you an answer 13.6772 so your answer to three significant figures they have asked you to write the answer to correct three significant figures it's going to be 13.7 centimeters now for those students who just talk your answer with this remember it's a triangle you have 10 centimeter 8.5 centimeters here and there's no way this is going to be 187 so you should realize that you're missing something which is to take the square root moving on to the second part of the question part B work out the size of the angle W X Y so they are talking about W X Y so this is the angle that they want you to find give your answer correct to one decimal place so here again as we said earlier this is not a right angle triangle so we have found W Y we have the two sides given which is 14 centimeter and 5 centimeter and we have now found W Y which is 13.7 centimeters to three significant figures so when all three sides given we know that we are going to use the cosine rule to find this angle and let this angle be a for the moment so I will write cos a is equal to b square plus c square 
minus a square over 2bc. So this is going to be b and c and this is my a. Substituting the values, 14 square plus 5 square. Remember b square plus c square, the two arms of the angle, the missing angle that you're going to find. And then you minus the third side which is 13.7 square divided by twice b and c. You have b and c here, 14 times 5 which gives you the answer 0 0.2379 uh, which is your cos A so from this A is going to be your angle A which is WXY is going to be equal to cos inverse of this value which is equal to 76.2 2 degree. We have given the answer to correct one decimal place. So I hope by now you know how to apply the cosine rule and when and where to apply. That's it for the day.